I know he's not gonna want to stand with me. If that is in his game plan, it's a, a horrible idea. Oh, oh, that's it, he heard him, he heard him. That light was devastating. Clay, if you're coming in this fight to entertain people with your stand-up skills, you might have a long night. I train with just as good, if not better, boxers than Clay Collard. I'm gonna be the toughest fight Clay Collard's ever had. What I know about Jordan is he's a boring fighter. He'll take you down, he'll lay on you, he'll hold you. Me, I'm exciting, my come outs are exciting, the fans are all excited. My energy is so great on fight night and I'm so amped and so pumped that I think I just share that with the crowd. Were people bored when they saw me fight Junie Browning? This fight starts for me every single day, not just when I'm in the cage. You know what? People pick me to lose this fight, but I've been picked to lose before. I was picked to lose against Junie Browning. I was picked to lose against David Castillo. People picked me to lose against Clay Collard. That's fine with me. I plan on sending Jordan Clements home worse off than I did Steve. I think that's great, but I'm not Steve Sharp. I'm Jordan Clements. I'm confident in my game. I've added a, a few new little tricks. I feel better than I ever have. I've been training harder with better guys, better coaches. Fans, this is my fifth showdown fight. I haven't lost yet, and I don't plan on losing now. Jordan Clements, I'm going to be a 155 pounds of twisted steel and sex appeal, and I'm coming for you. No, we can't use that, can we? <laughs>